Hey, what's good, guys? It's Mondo here. Power Boy thoughts. Nah, no, dope. Uh, just, you know, the whole 2021, my whole thing been perspective. Always have a good perspective. Because in life, that's all it is. There's no such thing as good or evil. There's no such thing as right or wrong. It's yin and yang. Balance. There's, you need both to make either happen. You can't have light without darkness. You can't have darkness without light. Because there would be... There would just be. If there was no light, there would be no darkness. It would just be. Understand what I'm saying? Without different color skins, it would just be. Without different languages, it would just be. So, you have to have that. And that's just perspective. So, don't get so caught up on the micro. Look at the macro. And figure out what your true purpose is in life. Um, working is good and all, but I find a lot of people at times... <laughs> They tie their life with their job, and they look at it as one. But if you look at sacred contracts, it would tell you that, um, anyway, I won't get into that. But it's like, you, you have to find what is it that makes you happy, like, the, whilst doing the action. What is it you're enjoying the journey doing, instead of looking at the end goal doing? So you always want to look at life like that. You're supposed to enjoy the journey because if, you, if you're living life with destination mindset, i.e. happiness is at the end of something, whether it be growing hair, having a family, getting married, making a lot of money, having this car, having that house. Understand, by time as you get the thing, if you didn't enjoy the process of getting it, the action of achieving it is fleeting because it's just as, as soon as you hit something, it's just a memory. Just like uh, one of my one of my um, frat brothers, my, my LB Joe, he, he he broke this down to me one day. And he's like, the reason why... I, like, anyway, he's like, sex isn't a big deal because it's like, sex is only a memory. Because once you're done, that's literally all it is. And it's like, that's life, literally. So it's like, I was reading... I was listening to, I think, Epictetus. If it wasn't Epictetus, it was um, Marcus Aurelius, probably. The Meditations. But they were speaking on the fact that people look at death as an end point when every moment that passes you are dying because from you a child to the day you die every moment that passes you are getting closer to that point in time so it literally is not we look at life as i'm gonna work 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 until i'm 65 then i'm gonna retire then i'm gonna live life and be happy but if you live with that mindset you i hope you guys hear me good if you live with that mindset when you reach 65 you're just starting to live. But you've lived most of your life already. So you're closest to death at that point. Whereas if you enjoy each day. Like one of the biggest things that I what I got out of. I got to check the reference on the book. But is that you have to enjoy life every day. Something that's a life goal for you. You should be working at that. Chipping away at that every day. It shouldn't be something that you. I'm going to get a car. And then I'm going to be happy. If it is that you like cars, you should be enjoying the car that you're in every day. Make it a way, find a way to enjoy it every day. Because you can't live life with an end point in mind. Because you don't know when your end point is. And it's like, if you appreciate the fact that we only have the present, the past is already gone and the future isn't, isn't guaranteed. So you cannot lose what you do not own or control. And if you cannot you have to accept what you cannot change and if you can't change it then you shouldn't accept it pull it back up all right i'll build up anything in life that you don't like you can change and if you can't change it you should accept it because why worry about something you have no control over worry is literally fearing something that doesn't even happen or may never happen Danger is real. Fear is a choice. In life, if you sit there and just... <sighs> oh, I'm scared. I'm, I'm... I have a thing with heights. I can't even use the word scared anymore because fear is a choice. I mean, fear is a choice, but danger is real. There is a danger of falling. But if you tie yourself to the building, then... You know what I'm saying? There isn't really much danger after that point. So you have to appreciate and, and embrace the fact that it's all about how you look at things and the perspective of the things that you're looking at, with, which will determine how you feel and how you interpret a lot of life. So 
you know, just stay encouraged. Uh, if you like this content, let me know. I got a whole wealth of knowledge that I've amassed over time. Just hanging around um, great people. Like, I have good mentors in my life. I have good people that I look up to. Um, they encourage me to read. They encourage me to do more. I, I'm in a fraternity. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm well-connected and well-respected. And that's something I pride myself on. Um, so, yeah, let me know. It's always good chatting up with you guys. You know?